Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some more Battlefield 4 footage and I'm doing sort of a double vision episode, which is courtesy to Chaboy and Jack Frags. Now, during E3, we we're all playing around, trying out different things. I think everybody kind of got to do a little bit of everything, uh, but the rounds that we got to record were pretty limited. Now, the only ones who really got some good footage of helicopter, attack helicopter gameplay, was Jack Frags and Chaboy. And in fact, they had a pretty entertaining uh, chopper run and I managed to get uh, footage from both Chaboy and Jack Frags so I'm able to put together a cool double vision video for you guys courtesy of them. So make sure to check out their channels in the video description. They actually have a lot of really good information over there. I, Jack Frags was getting into like the flashbang mechanics and stuff. Uh, he's got tons of unedited gameplay up there as well. chaboy has got some pretty entertaining videos of him trying to uh, C4 some guys with this transport helicopter. So not the only one putting out the Battlefield 4 news. If you check out their channels, there's plenty of good information over there. So without further ado, let's check out this helicopter run. We're gonna start off in the spawn screen here. As you can see, to spawn on a helicopter, it's as simple as clicking on it on the mini map there. This is Chaboy piloting the helicopter, and Jack Frags is going to spawn into the chopper with them. They are both standing next to each other on the floor of E3, so they could actually communicate while they were flying around. One cool thing that you'll notice right away is that the rockets that Chaboy here is flying from his rocket pods leave a bit thicker smoke trails than in Battlefield 3, and they just kind of enhance the environmental feeling of uh, the whole situation. Now we see Jack Frags' perspective as he's pelting it with the uh, main gun. For the gunner seat there, Chaboy is going to turn back around and do one last strafing run on this main battle tank and check out that awesome explosion. There's just something definitely more improved about the particle effects and graphics in Battlefield 4, especially blowing up armor in the middle of a downtown urban environment. Jack Frags picks off a kill as they're flying over here with the explosive rounds on the main gun. It's a 30mm cannon does look like the splash damage from these rounds might be a little bit less than Battlefield 3. It's hard to say for certain since nobody had a huge amount of experience uh, gunning the chopper at E3, but you can tell from the perspective that it seems like you might need to be a tiny bit more accurate with those rounds. They just got the drop on some infantry right there. You'll notice there's also an armored vehicle down there with a gunner in there, uh, the main 30 millimeter cannon definitely still does damage to lightly armored targets and even heavily armored targets. Chowboy's doing a good job of keeping this chopper up between these skyscrapers and check out the bases of these buildings here. They're just wasting guys in this little department store and it just looks awesome how much detail they put on the ground level of all these giant skyscrapers. From a distance you look at this map and it's almost like uh, there's no way that they could put this much detail into these buildings and make it feel so alive when you're down at the ground level and even at the top level. But they really did go the extra mile and just put in tons of department stores and little alleys. Make you feel like when you're running around on the ground that you're not in a level but that you're in a city that's fully destructible and sort of uh, bends to your will when you need it to. Now D-Point is kind of this little indoor mall and it's such a cool place to fight in because cruise missiles can come through the roof and blow up everybody inside. Choppers as you can see can get real low and start taking out guys here. I just love this flying by Chaboy as they come in right next to this mall and Chaboy thinks, you know, why the heck not? We're here at E3, how many chances are we going to get to try and fly inside of this mall here? And uh, I think he catches the tail of the helicopter on the entryway. And, Again, not bad flying for the first time with the new flying mechanics at E3. Jack Frags bails out, Chopboy gets taken out, and then Jack Frags goes on to uh, kill a few more guys on D-Point. Now we do see a lot of cool air-to-ground combat here. I can confirm that there are still air-to-air -air missiles that the helicopters have. They seem to work pretty much identically to the ones in Battlefield 3 so far. The countermeasures on attack helicopters seem to work exactly the same. Uh, Jack Frags didn't really have a secondary gun for the gunner seat in the helicopter. Of course, that was the first thing I asked him uh, after he got done with his gunner run was, how was the TV missiles? And those aren't in the game yet. It's not to say that they're going to be in the game, but I imagine we'll We'll probably be seeing a return of TV missiles and other cool weapons available for the gunners in the chopper seat. I gotta say, having flown the attack helicopter through this map quite a bit and the transport helicopter through the same map quite a bit, uh, the amount of destruction that is available just really enhances the helicopter experience. Flying between big skyscrapers, flying down at street level, not only does it just look amazing 
but uh, it's so much fun to try out. It's like, think about Sen Crossing in Battlefield 3, that level of destruction, and then taking an attack helicopter into that map. You can just tear apart buildings, and it looks awesome. Again, I want to thank Chowboy and Jack Frags for hooking me up with this footage. They got plenty of awesome Battlefield 4 videos on their channel with their exclusive footage from E3. You should go check them out. Again, they're linked in the video description. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.